Hello, everybody. My name is Andrew from Brickmeister Z, and welcome back to some more Super Mario 64. In our last video, we stopped by a uh, Shifting Saint Land, which is this unknown painting in front of me. We also grabbed our next few stars here, and we also picked up the Vanis Cap. But in this video, we're actually done exploring the main basement section. So if we head out this door and head up here, you need 30 stars to open the second Bowser door, I think. And once you've done that, jump into this wall of water, and we should end up in the next course, Dire Dire Docks. The first star that we'll be getting is Board Bowser's sub. So all we have to do to get this star is to drop into the water. After that, we might as well swim all the way down and enter this hole. And after that, you should end up in this new area where you can find Bowser's submarine. Okay, and turn the camera around, hit this switch to make the stairs. Head up here. And look at that, we got our first star. Great, so after that, the blue water wall puts us back, and you should end up in this hole right there, which leads us to Bowser in the Fire Sea. <laughs> yeah, you probably get burned a lot like Leave a Lava Land, but not gonna do that right now because I'm gonna save that one for last. But let's head back into Diodara Dogs to get the remaining stars before Bowser in the Fire Sea. Alright, next star, just in the current. I hope I said that word right, but just like the Jolly Roger Bay star, you need to open up those uh, treasure chests in order, but if you did it wrong, you might as well get the electric shock, I think. Alright, that's one. Two. Three. And last but not least, I don't want to go into that whirlpool, but uh, keep going. And finally, we got a fourth treasure. Da -da! The store's right there. No, no. I got sucked up by that whirlpool. So now I'm going to have to try this all over again. Okay, let's try this again. Open this fourth and final chest. And get the star. Sweet. If I can imagine, it would have been above the uh, Tornado Whirlpool, I think. That would have been a difficult choice, but we got it fair and square. Moving on to star number three, we have Paul jumping for red coins. So just like the first star, all I need to do now is to go back into the hole and go to the same area where Bowser's submarine was. Right, here we go. So one thing that I found interesting is that after we get the first star in this level, the Bowser submarine will probably just go away, I guess. But, yeah, step on that switch, jump over those block of stairs. Okay, got one red coin right off the bat. So now I'm going to launch them right here. Okay, grab that and just get a few of the red coins. Okay, so we got our four coins already. So one thing that I actually found out when I was trying this star, it seems like if I actually tried this the first time, the Bowser submarine actually spawns in. So it seems like there are no poles that are moving. So basically all I have to do now is to go towards Bowser in the Fire Sea. And I already completed that on my own so that the poles actually spawned in, but without the submarine. So now, hopefully, we could probably get the right coins in no time. Jump right here. Da! There we go. Grabs that, and you should end up on this platform where the blue coin switch was. And this will be helpful when you actually get 100 coins later on. So, jump on this pole. Got another red coin. Only three more to go. 
All right, grab this. And that. That's six red coins. Seven. And finally, eight. And that star spawns right back at the beginning. All right, now that I'm back here, let's grab this. And we are at 69 stars. Great, so this actually took me way longer than I thought. Especially about using the, uh, submarine, I guess. Anyways, now that we've done that, time to move on to the next star. Alright, next star, through the jet stream. It's the same exact star from Jolly Roger Bay, but a little bit different. And I'll show you why. Okay, so what makes this so different is that there are rains floating above that jet stream. And they didn't have this in the Jolly Roger Bay version. So all I have to do to get it is to swim down below and get the five rings. There we go. Once you've done that, the star will spawn right there where my finger is pointing at. So all I need to do now is to get the metal cap. Okay, grab this. Jump into the water. Walk forward, and we got 70 stars already. Sweet, so this means that the final Bowser level will probably open, but we're not going to do that near the end of the game, I guess. So now that we took care of that, let's head back into Dietary Docks and see what's next. Okay, the fifth star is the Manta Ray's reward. So all I have to do is to go back through here, and look at that, the Ray is swimming. And just like the Jet Stream Star, I have to swim through those five rings. In order to get the star, just like that. And it's right above the Whirlpool where I actually got the Treasure Chest Star before. So let's grab that. And we're good to go. We're at 71 stars already. Alright, next star, collect the caps. So, I have to go back to the same area where the Bowser submarine was. Every time that I try to get new stars in this level, I always speed ahead to get to that submarine area. But yeah, here's the star trapped in a cage. But in order to get it, I might as well get the Vanis cap. Alright, get this. Jump down. Swim towards that cage. There we go, and the star is ours. So basically, the normal way you could probably do it is to use the metal cap and the vanish cap at the same time. But this is actually way quicker than I thought. Okay, now let's get all 100 coins to get that star. So all I have to do to get it is to swim down once again. And I gotta make sure to get those coins that are on this ocean floor. Okay, don't go near that whirlpool again. There should be a rain of coins once you enter this hole to go to the submarine area. So let me just do that. Okay, 37 right off the bat. So now I'm going to swim through this hole once again to get back to that submarine area. Okay, and can't forget those other coins somewhere around this uh, water area. Here we go. Don't go near that hole. Otherwise, you might get sucked up, I guess. Okay. Now, I'm gonna swim. Wait, what? Ow! I see. When you get sucked up by that hole, it takes you right back here outside the castle. That sucks. So now I'm going to have to try this all over again and get those 100 coins. Great. Trying this again, I noticed that if you go towards a small hill, there should be an additional 5 coins in this secret area. Okay, so let me just get those coins once again to get to 100. There we go. So that's more like it. So now I'm going to swim back up towards the surface. And I might as well hit that switch 
so that I can jump across the poles. Okay, grab this blue switch, get a few blue coins, and we're already at 79. And I also want to grab those red coins along the way. Okay, a few minutes later, I got all the red coins. So now I just need to grab a few more to get to 100. Okay, here's some. And yeah, I'm already at 98. And it seems like, am I missing a few though? There we go, found two more coins, and we already got the 100 coin star. There we go, now that we're done with that, let's go to Mario 64 DS before we head into Bowser in the Fire Sea. Okay, moving on to Mario 64 DS, we have Koopa Surfing Switch Star. So to get this star, you need to play as Wario, and then head over here to punch one of those black bricks. Once you've done that, the switch star button will appear and pop this block open to reveal a Koopa cell. After that, surf on it. And uh, yeah, barely got that star before the time ran out. Even though the Koopa cell crashed into that wall. <laughs> so yeah, now that we got the switch star in like Two seconds, I think. That wraps up Dire Dire Dogs. So now let's head back to the original Mario 64 game and do Bowser in the Fire Sea. And now that we're back to the original N64 game, let's hop down this hole and we're in Bowser in the Fire Sea. Anyways, welcome to Level Off Land 2.0. <laughs> the sky is the same and the floor is lava, like always. And just like the first Bowser level, you know, the Dark World, there is actually a red coin star. So let me just get all the eight red coins, but without burning to death. Alright, there's one. Lava boost. And get another red coin. Climb up this pole. And there's the third coin hiding in the corner. And underneath that platform, it goes up, and underneath, we are at four coins. Alright, let's climb back up. And go over here to get this fifth red coin. Also, hop across those more platforms. And yeah, these are actually another type of platforms that are raising up and down. Anyways, grab this six. Red coin, head up here, and then long jump across. Alright, seventh. I just need one more. Well, got the final red coin, but I got burned because I can't hold on to the pole. Anyways, let's head up here. Get that star. And we're basically done. Great, so now that we got all eight red coins and this star, let's fight Bowser. But before we do that, let's head on over to Mario 64 DS once more. Okay, right next to the red coin star on this platform, we have the switch star. How this works in Mario 64 DS is that if you step on it, and then run forward, you should get it right there in that crystal. And heck, I actually did that on my first try, but without getting burned. I'll take it. <laughs> and now that we took care of that switch star, let's head back to Mario 64 one last time before we wrap up this video. Right, here we go. So, if we head down here, and land on this platform, we made it to the mighty Bowser. <laughs> Alright, round two. Fight! Looks like Bowser ground pounded on this tilted platform. So now I'm just gonna go right behind his tail. There we go. And let's spin him around. And yeah! He got the spike ball, and he is dead. Goodbye, Bowser. <laughs> 
All right, now that he's gone, let's get this key and get out of here. Right, and that key should lead us to the upstairs door. And now that we got all the basement stars, that wraps up this video. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the Brickmeister Z channel so that you don't miss part 11 of Mario 64. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.